Buenos días, chingos. Welcome back to this political, historical, and sociological channel. Today, I want to share with you how the daughter of Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, Chelsea Clinton, say that it's time to let young children enjoy hardcore so they can explore their and gender identity. Bill Clinton's daughter who previously stated that a person with a beard and can absolutely be a woman warned that banning books in schools is a harmful. In its annual censorship report, the American Library Association documented 1,269 challenges more than 2,015 books in 2022. The most attempt book bans since the association began tracking such efforts in 2001. It was 75% increase since 2021, which held the previous record, report NBC. Of the 13 books that made Alias list most challenged books, books last year, seven titles, including three of the top four were challenged for having LGBTQ content. A total deprivation because our kids are kids. Why they have to see that kind of things that are for adults and to destroy our kids childhood. Also, Florida governor signs law legalizing the penalty for child offenders. He said, in Florida, we stand for the protection of children. As Santi say at a new conference this Monday in Brevar country, we think that in the worst of the worst cases, the only appropriate punishment is the ultimate punishment. But in 2008, U.S. Supreme Court justices issued a 5-4 to four ruling that Barrett state from the of a child when the crime does not involve the of a child. The court rules that applying the cases both amount cruel and unusual punishment. But this kind of people ruin the life of the children. Why they can still live. However, the Santis has said he believes that the current US Supreme Court, which has a conservative majority, might be willing to review the Erling ruling. He said to the press, we think that the decision was wrong. This bill sets a procedure to be able to challenge that as president. The Santis signed two other bills Monday, focused on the criminal justice system. Senate Democratic leader Lauren Book, a victim of abuse, and founder of the advocacy organization Lawrence Kitt, Lawrence Kitt, say allowing this kind of capital punishment for this type of crimes against children could be justified. She said there is no statute of limitations that a victim suffers. This is a life sentence passed down to young children. Santis, who is expected to compete with Trump and other candidates for, for the presidential nominations in 2024, has sought to gain national prominence by making his own to renew with push of penalty. I think the most extreme part of the Republicans. Indeed, at the national level, Republican leaders are increasingly speaking out in favor of this kind of penalty. I would really like to know in the comments what do you think about this. You're in favor or against this type of law he's presenting. If you like, I would love if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share my video to get more people. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye! <laughs>